Well, it's a tremendous relaxation and, you know, you shed the responsibilities that you carry working in a parish, working on a mission and uh, being abroad. So it is an unburdening of the normal responsibilities. Um, this is the area where I grew up, so it's an area where I can feel at home very much. Generally speaking, um, I rise and make my own breakfast since my brother retired from farming. He doesn't get up as early now as he used to when he had to be milking cows. But I get up, make my breakfast, and then I stroll down to the beach, usually doing my morning prayer as I go down and walk the beach for maybe 20 minutes, gathering the morning air. I'm, I'm here nearly every day when I'm at home. Uh, every morning, this is my walk, unless the rain will stop me. And some mornings, even with an umbrella, I will come for my bit of fresh air and my bit of relaxation and a bit of solitude, being alone. Formerly, I did it with the dog until the poor dog died. But now, I do it alone, and it means a lot to me. Is it something you miss when you're abroad in the hustle and bustle of Nairobi? This not really. When I get to a place, I'm in the place and I'm not kind of looking over my shoulder at places I've left behind. I, uh, I miss it in ways, but I make the most of it when I'm here. But when I'm back in Nairobi, I'm not shedding tears that I'm not here. It's a different place, a different location, different work. So we get on with it. It is very much my home beach. It's where I learned to swim. And it's where we have been coming since I was born all those years before. So much so that one of the hymns that we often sing in church, the gentler silence, when we sing the second verse of it, at the turn of each tide, you are there at my side. I think of this speech, even if I'm singing it in Nairobi or in Cork McSherry or in Cork or elsewhere. And it reminds me of the places where I've been rooted, really, where life has meant a lot to me. 
doing the cliff walks around here, around Gork and Sherry, or up over the hill here to the cliffs of Coolum, which are noted to be some of the very highest cliffs in the south of Ireland. And on then, around the Seven Heads Walk, which has been developed in recent years and has become very popular with people, particularly during the autumn and the winter time. And then they make it down from Tivoli to Court McSherry along the easier part of the walk where the old railway line was. So these are places, when I come back, they're places where I get renewed and recharged, and they mean a lot to me. And then I go to the church. I celebrate morning mass with the people, whatever people would come along. Numbers have decreased over the years. Age levels have risen. But nevertheless, there are always some people there. And there would be people who want, we'll say, a celebration for a particular need. Like this morning, I celebrated for a man who was undergoing severe surgery today, heart surgery. So we would have situations like this nearly every day. Well, my day is not complete unless I have the Eucharist in it. Not necessarily that I would be celebrating mm. myself, but that I would be present at the celebration of the Eucharist. Mm. For example, sometimes if I'm on holidays or I'm away, I might sit in the church and partake, like one of the congregation, um, while another person is celebrating. Mm. I wouldn't go rushing up to and celebrate as such. Mm. I would be happy, but the Eucharist is part of my day. That's mm. why so I, I don't feel complete unless I celebrate the Eucharist. So I like to celebrate it, especially here in the church where I was baptized. Mm. And, um, and so I would like to have a bigger mm. congregation, naturally. But I'm happy enough to celebrate for anybody who is willing to celebrate with me. And, and obviously this is a big contrast to Kenya where you're working for, I'm sure. That is correct, yeah. There would be very big crowds, as if normally so. there would be very big crowds and a very big note of celebration mm. here, and especially at the weekends, there's more of a note of obligation. People feel they have to go to church, mm. whereas in Africa, they, they don't go every Sunday, they go some Sundays, they miss out, but they're not over worried if they miss out. But when they do come, they celebrate and they really put mm. their hearts and their energy into it. Mm. Sometimes, maybe they miss a bit of focus, you know, sometimes you have people who are concentrating more on the liturgical dancing or on the singing and they maybe miss out a little on the core of the celebration, which is the presence of the Lord. But nevertheless, they have a great note of celebration.